Good morning. I got the kayak all loaded up. I'm here at one of my favorite spots. We we'll go out here and see if we can get a few this morning. Got a nice incoming tide till about 10 30, 11 o'clock. So stick around. There he is. There he is. He's a little one. Nice little snook. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just trying to work this. Uh, there's a props car that runs right out along there. And if you can see the little potholes, that's what I'm working now. There was a school of reds this morning, but. Uh, they're just not eating for some reason. But I'm gonna work these little potholes right here and see what I can make happen. As you probably guessed by now, I'm an artificial lure guy. And uh, that's just by choice. I was a freshwater bass fisherman for about 15 years, and so that's the kind of fishing I was used to. So when I transitioned over into saltwater fishing, 
it just kind of continued into that. Most of the guys I fish with fish artificials too. And I'm not knocking guys that fish our, uh, live bait. You know, I've done it myself and it, it's fun. <clears throat> but to me, you know, when I'm out here, I just, I don't want to be just sitting here soaking a bait. I mean, you know, that can be fun at times, but you know, for the most part, even when I fished live bait, I would be throwing artificials while I had a rod out in the water with the live bait on it. You know, a couple, two or three weeks ago, I decided to go get a bucket of shrimp. I actually came out here. I caught a couple redfish. You know, sometimes with artif I mean, live bait, it's probably easier, I guess, to catch fish. You know, because it's, it's live. They, you know, they're used to eating it the bait reacts the way they're used to it reacting but to me the sport with artificial is being able to fool a fish into thinking that what you're throwing them is alive and sometimes it doesn't matter what you throw at them I mean you know when the salooner period is just right and they're active they'll probably hit anything you throw at them but there's other times, you know, like the last few weeks, it's hard to find redfish. Um, I, you know, I think maybe it's too hot right now or something. But I've just, I've had trouble the last few weeks finding the redfish. I caught a cup, you know, that little snook this morning. I had a bigger one next to a dock that blew up on my lure. Um, I've caught snook in the last few weeks, but, you know, fishing in general, I'd say the last month or two months has probably been not the way it was. You know, we've had a couple issues with some bacteria in the water, red tide, whatnot, but, um, you know, with artificial lures, there's days you probably go home with maybe two or three fish, but it's rewarding when you catch that fish on something that's not even live, it's fake. And some of the guys I fish with, <clears throat> we all like fishing topwater. Most of the time in the morning is the best time to fish the topwater. And there's a couple guys I fish with that would probably throw that topwater lure all day long. I like to change it up, which is why I carry four rods. I, sometimes they're just not going to hit that topwater. Sometimes you got to throw them something different, and then all of a sudden I start catching fish. You know, so it just, you've got to learn to read the water, so to speak. They, you know, they call it reading the water, but basically what it is, you're just looking for little disturbances in the water to signify there's activity or fish there. And when I'm out, that's what I'm looking for. Or mullet, anytime you see mullet, you know, jumping, that's a good spot to go try. Redfish a lot of times will hang out where the mullet are because the mullet stir up the shrimp and the, you know, the bait off of the bottom and then the redfish just come and eat it, you know, it's like free, free food. So, it's just a little tip for you, you know, not knocking guys that fish live bait, but to me, I get more enjoyment when I fool a fish into hitting a top water or a jig or miradine. And uh, that's just the way I like to fish. Got a red, uh, trout on. Nice one, too.